Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on installing CUDA. CUDA or Compute Unified Device Architecture is a technology developed by NVIDIA that allows you to use your GPU to perform general purpose computing, not just graphics. In other words, CUDA lets your GPU work like a super fast math processor. Instead of only using your CPU, that is the central processing unit, to run code, you can use thousands of small GPU cores to massively speed up calculations, especially for things like machine learning or deep learning, data science, example, large matrix operations, simulations like physics, fluid dynamics, or weather models, and for video processing, rendering, cryptography, etc. NVIDIA provides a CUDA toolkit, a set of libraries, drivers, and compilers. Developers write code usually in C, C++, or Python that can send tasks to the GPU, and the GPU processes these tasks in parallel, which means that many operations happening at once, and it is way faster than a CPU could. So the first step of installing CUDA is to uh, check your GPU and driver version. So first you need to check if you have an NVIDIA GPU and the driver version installed. So for that, you need to go to bash and write the command NVIDIA SMI. So if you get a table showing your GPU driver version, CUDA version, then it's great. And if NVIDIA SMI is not found, you need to install NVIDIA drivers first. And uh, make sure your driver supports the CUDA version you want. Newer drivers can run older CUDA versions, but not the other way around. The next step is to decide how you want to install CUDA. So there are mainly two ways. The first option is installing CUDA toolkit system-wide from the official NVIDIA installer. So good if you are doing custom CUDA programming or want full uh, system-wide access, then you can go with this option. The next option is using Conda to install CUDA. It is recommended for deep learning. So if you just want CUDA for TensorFlow, PyTorch, or ML projects, don't install system-wide. Let Conda manage CUDA versions inside environment. The option is installing CUDA toolkit system uh, from the, offic uh, the official way. So first we need to go to the official NVIDIA CUDA toolkit downloads page. Then we need to select our operating system and the architecture and version. So I'm selecting Windows architecture is 64 bits. And then we can select a version as well. And then we need to select the installer type local or network. Then uh, we can download uh, the CUDA toolkit installer from here and we need to follow the installation instructions. So the option B is installing CUDA with Conda that is recommended for ML or AI. So Conda handles CUDA internally so you don't need to install the system wide CUDA toolkit at all. For example if you want to install PyTorch with CUDA then you need to write uh, open the anaconda prompt and write this command conda create an pytorch gpu Then you need to activate this by writing conda activate pytorch gpu then after you have like changed the environment from base to pytorch gpu you need to install a uh, pytorch and uh, for that you need to write conda install pytorch torch vision Torch Audio, PyTorch CUDA is equal to 11.8, C PyTorch, C NVIDIA.
uh, so it will take some time depending on the internet speed so we are like installing downloading and extracting all the packages required for pytorch and cuda So we have like installed PyTorch and if we want to install uh, TensorFlow then what we need to do is first we need to like go back. So we have installed uh, PyTorch. Now if you want to install TensorFlow so first we need to create an environment for TensorFlow so we can write Conda create an EFGPU. I wanted to uh, write TFGPU but I have written TFGPI then we will uh, activate this environment So like we have changed the environment from PyTorch GPU to TF uh, GPU. Then we need to install TensorFlow. So for that we need to write Conda install C Conda Forge TensorFlow. So we have installed TensorFlow as well. And that's how you can install CUDA in your system. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.